<clears throat> one thing I was going to talk a little bit about is, you know, how I think the best way for me to practice is, you know, leading up to an event or if I have downtime and I'm going to be practicing for the next few weeks without going somewhere. But uh, the main thing we always need to think about is having great fundamentals, like doing doing the basics right. I think what all the, the great uh, ropers do is they all have the basic fundamentals of catching down to to a T, you know, they all, we all ride our horse to a good spot, we all sit in the middle of our horse, swing in the right area, over the steer's back, at the target, big loop, hold your slack, you know, it, it sounds real simple and, and that's how it should be. Uh, the, the best way to rope is to keep it all simple, don't overdo anything, you know, don't skip steps uh, and, and don't just be roping to rope. It's, it's really easy when you're roping a lot to get caught up practicing, you know, just roping. You're not really thinking about doing anything. You're just going through the motions. But uh, it, like if I'm leading up to the week of say uh, the Lone Star Shootout, that's a really big roping. I, I need to really do good. I have three really good partners. I'm gonna practice every time that week, riding my horse to a good spot, swinging over the steers back, have great timing, catch the steer, and, and do all the little things right. Because you know what what the good guys do is they do the little things right, and their the, the natural talent they have, you know, makes them better at some things than others. But every guy does the little things right. And uh, as as a, a low numbered person or someone trying to get better, uh, when you master those and get those down, your your numbers just going to keep increasing. You're going to keep getting better. Or, you know, there's times when, when you have you know, three weeks before you go to the next roping and you want to try new things. You want to try to ride more aggressive. You want to try to throw faster. You want to try to set yourself up for, for a quicker shot or you want to practice reaching. You know, all that, all that is, is good to do when you have, you know, two or three weeks where you can just practice and you don't have to worry about getting ready for a big event. But if you do your basics right and you have your basics down, all that stuff will naturally come, I think. You know, if, if, you, if you have riding your horse down perfect and you're swinging in a great spot and, and you're riding through the corner right, you know, you're gonna throw on the first hop because you set it up to throw on the first hop just because you did all the little things right. I think it's an illusion that people have of throwing fast is, is you know, they have to do some wild way of riding or, or you have to be super aggressive with your rope. That, that's not the case. If you ride good, and you set yourself up good, the first shot is the first hop. So I think that's what we really need to always emphasize on working on is, is doing the basic fundamentals right and trying to get those perfect.